imagine this. You've worked all week on a project. Right before the deadline, a coworker messes it up, forcing you to redo hours of work. That burning surge of frustration, the urge to yell, we've all been there. But what if, instead of exploding, you could handle it differently? Never Get Angry Again explores this idea, offering a toolkit for taming those fiery emotions. Here are the three key lessons. Key takeaway. One, anger is a choice. At first, this idea seems counterintuitive. Anger bursts onto the scene, feeling automatic and uncontrollable. But Never Get Angry Again shines a light on the subtle power we actually have. It's not about denying the emotion exists. The book teaches us that between a triggering event and our angry reaction, there's a tiny space for choice. Imagine someone cuts you off in traffic, that surge of frustration and the urge to lash out. That's your choice point. Instead of reacting on autopilot, you can take a tiny pause. Remind yourself, I can choose my response. It won't erase the anger completely, but it puts some distance between you and the emotion. This choice doesn't mean instant calm, but it does open up the possibility of a calmer, more constructive reaction. The book suggests simple techniques to make this choice easier. A quick deep breath, a mental countdown, or even focusing on a physical sensation can give you that crucial split second to decide how you want to react. Over time, practicing this tiny act of choice builds a habit of breaking the automatic cycle of anger. Never get angry again. Emphasizes that this isn't about suppressing anger or pretending it doesn't exist. It's about acknowledging the emotion while realizing you don't have to be completely controlled by it. This shift in perspective lays the foundation for healthier responses. Key takeaway. Tour two, challenge your irrational thoughts. Think of your anger as a fire. What's fueling those flames? Often it's those exaggerated irrational thoughts that flash through our minds. This always happens to me. They're out to get me. These kinds of thoughts pour gasoline on the fire. Never get angry again is like a mental fire extinguisher. It teaches you to spot these irrational thoughts, the ones that distort reality and blow things out of proportion. The book offers a process for challenging them. Question if they're really true. Search for evidence to the contrary. Are you assuming the worst? Can you think of times when things didn't turn out badly? Replacing these irrational beliefs with more realistic ones slowly but surely weakens anger's grip on you. Never Get Angry Again highlights how these thoughts often fall into specific patterns. Catastrophizing, imagining the worst, demanding perfection or should statements. They should know better. Our common culprits, learning to spot these patterns makes it easier to question them. The book suggests keeping a thought journal. When anger strikes, Writing down your thoughts helps identify patterns. Seeing them in black and white can expose their illogical nature. With consistent practice, you can rewire your brain to stop those thought distortions in their tracks. Key takeaway. Three, empathy and communication. Our key. Sometimes our anger is directed at other people. We get caught in our own world, forgetting they have their own struggles and perspectives. Never Get Angry Again encourages stepping outside yourself. Instead of assuming ill intentions, try imagining the other person's pressures or challenges. This shift in perspective diffuses a lot of misplaced anger. Next, the book focuses on communication as a preventive tool. When we master expressing our needs and issues clearly, without getting swept away by anger, we can address problems before they escalate. This means fewer angry outbursts and way more productive resolutions. The book highlights the importance of assertive communication, not passive or aggressive. Assertiveness means being clear about your feelings, but also respecting the other person's perspective. Using I statements and focusing on solutions rather than blame can help you get your point across without igniting an angry argument. Never get angry again also emphasizes the power of active listening. Paying attention and asking questions to get the full picture shows the other person you're truly listening. This willingness to understand can often de-escalate situations and prevent misunderstandings that would have led to anger. Never get angry again won't magically erase all anger from your life, but it gives you invaluable tools to change your relationship with this powerful emotion.
Less anger means less stress, healthier relationships, and better decision-making. If you're tired of anger controlling you, this book is worth the read. Let me know in the comments if these takeaways sound helpful. Looking for more self-development lessons? Check out the other book summaries on our channel.